Hello everyone and welcome back to Reptiles and Resin. So today I have a new mold. It's the little octopus mold. And <clears throat> I got some eyes from Timu that are stickers. We're gonna I want to use these for his eyes just to try them out. And I have a little butterfly in there that also, I had these from Timu for a while. They come in a various of sizes. Um, I'll get all the links. But see, I had to take them apart. It comes with a little magnet on it, actually, and I just put it back together. But these are double winged. This is the other half of them. So we're doing a purple. But they come in all sizes, and they have double wings. And they also have a little magnet on the back. So, yes, they will stick. Well, I know y'all couldn't see that, but they stick to metal. Do I have anything metal? I have my cup. They stick to the cup. So, that's what we're going to be using. But I did, did this will pry apart and snap back on. So that's what I'm going to be using today. And like I said, this is his other half. It would not fit down in there with two pieces on. So I'm going to remove that. Now I've got it placed exactly where I want him. And I'm going to put just a little bit of UV resin on this. On like the tip. Just so. Well actually I think I'm going to put it right there at his little butt. Just so he would not move on me. Because I'm going to pour this head of the octopus. Matter of fact, let me turn off this heat mat in clear. So I'm going to pour him in completely clear. In the head, except for crushed crystal. I did put some crushed crystal in there. Okay. So see, now I, I got a little bitty drop. Oh, where's my little thing at? My, my pointer. I got a little bitty drop right here where, well, where his butt is. That way he won't move. And I've mixed up my resin already. And got it with, I've already put the, the smallest amount, I, I tried to anyway. Smallest amount of crushed crystal in here. And I am using, let me put the top on this. My four hour demold, JD Addiction demold. And I want to, there is a piece of glitter. Well, you know what? It ain't going to matter because we're going to glitter fine. I got a new glitter in from Amazon. It's a purple. And I'll link that as well. It's almost like, I think it's like almost seven ounces. It's the holographic glitter purple. But I will link that in the description as well. But right now. I need to find a way to prop up the big old octopus's head. Because I only want it in this head. And see, I have my crushed crystal in here. And that's the only thing I have in here. I think I will spray a tad of alcohol in here. Hopefully this won't bleed. And I know I've made up too much. Six ounces to do this little bitty head. But that's okay. Because I am only going to his head. And that is it. I got to find a way to straighten it a little bit better than that. Don't know how. Got one little bubbles that popped up. My little thing. Oh, it popped on its own. Okay. Yeah, because I want it to go just right at the head. Will that work? I think that might work, but the tip of his wings are out a little bit. Let me just work with it and play with it. My Yeah, because I don't want it covering his eyeballs. Oops. That'll be alright. i get him off. Now I just need to find a way to prop this up a little bit here. So that don't go nowhere. And I think we'll be good. Let me try that. 
Oops. Nope. He is going to fall over. Oh, boy. I can't put that tape on there right now because my heat mat is kind of warm still. So I'm going to have to find something to sit him in. Oh, and I'm draining down the cup. And you know what? That's okay. That's all right. At least it's in a cup. Okay. See, that works. And that steadies it a little bit there. Okay. So, is his wings covered? Yeah, I think the wings are covered now. I'm going to pour a little bit more in here so some spilled out. But I don't want to cover his eyeballs because I am going to... UV resin some of these stickers on here and I found that three of these eyes have butterflies in them so I think I'm going to use the purple butterfly and they're holographic in his eye and we're going to pour the rest of him in purple glitter so yay okay so I'm not seeing any bubbles hopefully there is none trapped in here where his wings are i think that's what came up earlier okay i think that'll be good sitting right there it's right at the tip of his eyes so and his wings look covered to me i could be wrong i'm gonna push this back though because I need to use the rest of this in my jellyfish. I'm jellyfish. In, oh darn it! In my other mold here that I have pulled out. Just trying to popsicle him up here without him falling over. Perfect. Perfect. Please don't fall. Okay, let me move these stickers off this heat mat before they all go gooey. Okay, so I've got this. And I figured that I would go on and just pour the, um, who I hope he don't fall. Let me find something to put behind this just in case, even if it's just these even if it's just a cup or something just in case he goes backwards or if my clumsy behind tips it there we go just in case okay so I'm going to try Ooh, I'm gonna put that on the heat mat so I'm going to pick an eyeball out for this seahorse here I'm going to use one of these stickers on him as well and I cleaned the mold, but it's got a little glitter and stuff in it. I'm not worried about because he's about to be glittered. Okay, and it's going to be purple glitter. So, what color eyeball do I want? I want something that's not going to... I think I'm going to do a green eye. And I say that because that's the only thing I think will stick out on the seahorse. So, yeah, I just had the tweezers, okay. Because it's going to be purple. I'm, uh, I don't want to do a, well, yeah, let's do a green. Let's, let's see how this, I don't even know how these come off. I ain't never used them. I just opened the package. Uh-oh. How you get these things off of here? Hey. Let me take a glove off. Okay. Um. Okay, I got him started. That's all that matters. Alright, put one little drop right there into the seahorse's eyeball. 
And I'm going to try my best to fish out that darn bubble. There we go. Got him. Yay. Is there, sorry for the head. Okay, I don't see any more. So, I'm going to take this sticker and let's see his eyeball. I know it's round, but we're going to do a slanted one. And the slant is going like that. So, eh, hopefully that is the right way. And these stickers fit right in there, too. I really hope that's the right way. I cannot see where the slant is. Oh, well. If it don't work out, we'll color through it. Oh, why do I keep putting that on the heat mat? The heat mat is still warm. Alright, so I'm going to cure it from this side now. Hopefully, I got the slant decent. <laughs> and then we are going to mix some glitter in here and we are going to get him all glitterified actually I'm going to use let's see here um what is this I got some chameleon powder purple oh god it's the cheap art chameleon powder purple red no purple no bleh blue red purple and I'm going to just brush a tad bit of this on here before I mix up this glitter. I'm going to try just to brush it a little bit on here. I don't want a lot. Just a little bit. Yeah, see, just, just a little bit so it's not just all in your face glitter. So, yeah. Alright, let's see. Let's do his little snout and stuff. Maybe a little bit of these indentations in here. Just a little something extra there. Just paint it on a little bit. Give them a little, little extra. I'm doing a little extra too much there. I got powder everywhere. So basically I'm just barely touching these like little round thing the indentations in here just barely touching them giving it a little bit of color it might not even show let's see i just barely touching them barely just barely uh no do i want to do anything else no, I don't think I do. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Because I'm not, I didn't really plan on doing this anyway. So, yeah, I don't even think I'm going to leave that there. So, Nevaeh, give me a paper towel, love. Give me a little piece of paper towel so I can wipe this off. You gave me two sheets. I only need a little one. Okay, thank you, love. So helpful. Okay, so I'm going to just go on and just wipe this off. That big part right there. And yeah, there's a little bit left behind. That's fine. That glitter is going to hide mostly anything anyway. Okay. There we go. Alright, so I'm done with that. I just wanted to put a something, a little something extra, extra. Actually, maybe I should go around his eye with this. Just to kind of block the glitter a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit there. Just right around his eyes. Alright, now I'm done. Oh, let me get the top of it before I spill it. We put that there, and let me get my glove back on and mix this glitter into our resin. You pretty, 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 pretty. 
All right, so I need a stick. I just put my glitter in there. Let me get me a stick here. Mix this. Oh my God, the resin has the cured. Are you freaking serious? Oh, and it's smoking. What the hell? Fire department down nine one one. Granny done smoked up the house. What in the world? It's a four hour. What in the? Nevada? Granny's burning down the house. Oh my god, this thing is super freaking hot. What in the world? Is, I've never had this happen before in my entire life. Never. Nevaeh, we need something to put this in. Give me, give me, your, oh, wait a minute, I need something glass. Oh, you know what? Give me that metal pan just in case. There is a, no, right there, you see a metal pan, a metal pot, a little round, no, it's right here, there it is. See that little metal pot? This, the, I've never had this happen before in my life, don't ask me what just happened. I don't know what just happened, Nevaeh. Um, come on, let's get out the room because I don't want to smell this. So let's get out the room. Come on, baby. I let me turn on the fans and the exhaust and stuff. Come on. I don't know what just happened, but come on, we gonna be safe. Granny about to burn the house down. We'll be back. Hello, everyone. We are back from our disastrous octopus show yesterday. And I have been racking my brain trying to figure out what in the world happened. Well, let me tell you what happened. This crazy lady grabbed the wrong resin and mixed two different ones together. I you apparently when I check rechecked the bottles, I had picked up a T Expert four hour demold and a J Diction for our demold and mix them. Unknowns to me, I was not paying attention. So double check, make sure you don't mix two different brands of resin because it don't work. Whoo, jeez. And this is still stuck to the bottom of the pan to where I cannot get it out. The cup did come out just fine though. And this look like it's okay, I guess because it's a small head. There is some bubbles though, but that thing got so hot. But this time I've got my regular resin. I just mixed it up in the cup that was smoking. And there was still some glitter in there, but I'm going to go on and add some more glitter. First I thought it was the glitter. But no, and I apologize, because I should have double checked, but we about to have the house on fire. So let's try this again today with the correct resin. Oh, goodness. I know I said a curse word, but who doesn't in the midst of disaster? True. That was, I have never, ever had that happen before. Ever. Ever, ever, ever had that happen before. <laughs> never. So, I started to scrap the whole video. And I was like, you know what? No. Because what I do is what we y'all see. And that's what I did. A big old blunder. 
And it seemed like the head, I started to pop it out, but it's saved. I Hopefully it's not ruined the mold. First time pouring the mold and I'm about to burn it up. Oh, I forgot. We got to put eyeballs in here. Oh, Lord, I'm still the aftermath of all. Yeah. That was a little scary because I had never done that before. Never done that before. Never, ever. And I would definitely make sure I check resin for names. Gracious. Whew. Yeah, that, that was a time. And we in here this morning, I just left the room shut and let it, let it exhaust and stuff. And, yeah, get all that smell out. Because, yeah, that was something you don't want to breathe in there. No, 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 no. And my mold has done came loose from the octopus, but you know what? We're going to go on and pour it. The little head, I can see where it's done come. Dang, I'm not even going to worry about it. So we're going to use these little purple eyes here. I'm going to try to go on and just get them halfway peeled up before. Yeah. And gonna get I'm gonna get the UV resin and put in here a drop and we had already had the um the um oh it's a stuck back down on me we had already had the um oh come on now the um well you don't want to cooperate we had already had the 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 uh oh gosh i can't even think this morning I'm trying to keep that from running we had the the seahorse ready to rock and roll but apparently that didn't turn out right we had to wait all right i just want to make sure the butterflies turn the right way <laughs> oh wait a minute is that the right way yeah it should be the right way well it might not be by the time I get it off my tweezers wow okay come on get off okay hopefully that'll be fine And this one goes this way. Hopefully, the butterflies will be okay. At this point, poor octopus is just an all out disaster. <laughs> oh, goodness. At this point, it's a disastrous octopus. Lord, have mercy. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, hopefully he cures good. Oh, yeah. He has cured good. Put this away. Yeah, yep, yep. Been one of those days there. Yeah, see the white where it's done came loose? And I'm pretty sure some glitter is going to get up under that. But I'm going to go ahead and pour it anyway. All right, where the top go? I'm gonna get my gloves back. Well, one glove back on here. Those stickers are very hard to get off. All right, so let's see here. We have our glitter. And we are just going to pour our purple glitter in here and hope for the best. We are going to hope for the best. Oops, where did that come from now? Big old glob in there of resin. There we go. 
Whew. Okay, I'm going to let that keep going. And of course, we're going to have plenty for our seahorse over here. So we'll go on and start to pour him because that's almost full right now. Don't know if I'm going to have enough for the seahorse, though. Do not know. Yeah, I guess I am. And some left over because I made up six ounces. So, yeah, I got enough. And how are we looking over here? He's still going through. Let me get one of those little dotting tools to count. Okay, he needs some help going through here. Okay, he looks like he's about to overflow. It should be level. Okay, we're almost there. Get you on pushed in there. Okay. Uh, I think we are good on the octopus. Okay. Wipe that off. Well, I probably just messed something up because it's already thinging down in here. Hopefully not, though. I know I don't need any on there. Oh, boy. Ouch. Let's see. We're going to do a purple starfish. Purple starfish poured. Move you before I spill you. And I guess I could get some more in here. Let me get that out my way for a minute before I have to clean it. I can get some more and finish in this mold because I got teal in there right now. I can just finish this up for the crystal. There we go. Teal and purple. Alrighty. Alrighty, you guys. So I'm going to clean up. And when we come back, we can demold our smoking hot octopus. <laughs> I will see you soon. Bye for now. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Reptiles and Resin. Woohoo! We are finally ready to unmold our hot octopus <laughs> also I got some eyes for my turtle they're all round no slanted uh, 40 pieces I got the 15 millimeter and they came from Amazon so I will try to remember to link this but they're all round no slanted they're all round they're very pretty 
so yeah so let's get started i don't know how i feel about this glitter that i brought but we'll see i'm gonna start with this stuff i'm um, starfish the, the seahorse here let's see and eh, not too bad uh, i guess the glitter is okay i don't know i kind of like a dark glitter but it's pretty it's pretty his eye turned out really good with that sticker I like that and it's got a little holographic from the um, powder we put in so yeah when the Sun hit it it shines I mean I like it he doesn't have much cleanup on him I like it it's a pretty glitter But I'll probably get some dark purple and just mix in with this lighter purple. Because, see, there's dark purple. I was seeing it in there, but it's not, like, showing up. Oh, Lord, there's a doggy hair on there. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I, I like mixed glitter. Like, not just one color. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is nice. I like it. I'll make sure I link it for you guys. Because you can see there's dark purple in here. I don't think it just shows up very well. There's more light than dark. So I'll just find me a darker one and put in there. Now this is a mixed crystal. I'm going to demold him. He came from the, you know what? I don't even remember what the blue came from. Because it's got, yeah, I don't remember. Oh, God. These things are so hard to get unopened. Because if you can't grab this, the point just, ow, so sharp, about to break my nail off. The points are so sharp. They real, oh, this is the one I put the little seashell in. This one was from the, the octopus. Yeah, I remember now, oh, <laughs> big old piece of glitter in there. Yeah, that's the one with the little seashell I had stuck at the bottom. Yet again, no bubbles. That's one thing I like. I never get a bubble in these points. And boy, they will get you, though. Spent that one right there. It's sharp. And so is that. Well, help. Oh, excuse me. Well, heck. Most of them are sharp. I apologize. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm on a roll here. Okay, his little tentacles are still a tad just a little soft around the edges because it's not that thick uh, let's see and this is the one the head of it has the mixed resin please make sure you do not mix two different brands of resin I have never done that before and that is my fault for not paying attention to the bottle that was my fault. Well, besides for the little bubbles from the heat, it did get super hot. It still looks good. Just got some little bubbles right in here where it was thinking, why does this glitter look better in this than it does in this? It really does, does it? See, now that's the way I expected the glitter to look. That's That's weird. It was the same pour, nothing else added. That is, that's weird. But yeah, that's the same exact glitter. And this one, yeah, this one had the mica powder brushed in, but this did not. It was just, just the straight pour. Wow, that, that that's something. That's the exact same glitter as well. I mean, no alcohol ink added or anything. Now, this is what I wanted them to look like. Because that is pretty now. Shoot, I like that. Yeah, see, I, that's kind of crazy. He's got a little cleanup in the back here, but the octa Ooh, yeah, he's a little sharp right there. Let me get some scissors and cut him before I break me a nail off. I think this one turned out beautiful. Even with the bubbles in his head, I I still like it. I really do. That is too cute. His little bubble head. Oh goodness, what's that alien that got the big old bubble head? That's what it looked like. <laughs> I can't 
can't remember which movie that was from. <laughs> oh, goodness. That turned out really, really, really adorable. I like this. And I am liking these little butterflies. They are too cute. I'm just trying to think what I can use for the inside of the one. Like I took, it comes with two wings. Just wonder what I could use to put on the other one. May I find something? Shoot. Or maybe even a little, take, take some black UV resin and make my own and stick it on there. Can't be that hard. But this one turned out really cute. I love this one. Let me, let me get a paper towel. Maybe that, I, oops, help. Something white. I don't have any paper by me. Look at the pretty colors. Now, that's the way I wanted this glitter to look. I wonder why it doesn't look like this in these. That's weird. It looks more pink in here and purple here. Same exact same thing, unless it's the mold. I'm so confused on that one. But it really does look pink here and purpley pink here. Oh, you know what? I ain't even look. I can't see his eyes that well. It's hard to tell, but I can see the little butterfly in that one. Well, no, I can see it in that one, too. I think I should have chose a different eye. But it still looks good if you look really close. You can see the butterflies in his eyes. And sometimes art, you got to look deeper than just a visual. Oh, okay. You got to look at details. Like the detail of the butterflies in his eyes. That match this butterfly. But I started. I wish they had some like greener ones with the butterfly, but all of them were dark with the butterfly in it. But yeah, I wish these would have came out that color. Now in the bottom of the crystal, it it came out like that. Seems like. But yeah, he turned out so cute. Considering he was on fire. Or the rest of it on fire. I still, this is what came out the cup. At least it didn't burn my cup. But this is literally still <clears throat> stuck in the bottom of the pan. And might have to take a hammer and prop it out of there. I don't, I have no clue. Oh, I got it. Big old solid chunk of resin. Wow. It's a new form of art. Yeah, always look at your resin bottles. All I, I know is my, 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 um, I have a bookshelf and the bottom is the, the bottom shelf has the, um, gallons of, um, oh goodness, what, deep pour. And then the second, the one on top of that one, has all the four hour D mold and then the one up above that one has the um regular pour. So yeah, I wasn't paying no attention and just grabbed an A and a B looking at the tops of them, not realizing the brand. So yeah. And I thought I was getting ready to blame the glitter. I I, I most certainly was. I'm about to blame the glitter. But no, it wasn't that glitter. It was me not looking at the side of the, um, the side of the, um, bottle. I just looked at top A and B, and I knew they were, um, the four-hour D mold. And I usually have them one and one, the, you know, like the, um, set. One, one, one. But, yeah, I, apparently I put it back wrong or some child moved it I'm not blaming no names because it was my fault for not looking at the label of the brand so yeah that's what happens if you don't pay attention you've got more than one brand of resin please do not do it just double check because <laughs> uh, we had a fire going Whew, that scared the crap out of me and I do apologize for the curse words I usually do my best not to, but sometimes in a moment, you're like, what in the world? Yeah, and I started to scrap this whole video. 
I really did. After the malfunctioning of the resin, I started to scrap it. And I was like, you know what? No, because we all learn together. And I don't edit videos. The only editing I do is plopping them in a roll. That's the only thing I do. I don't cut anything from my videos. So I'm sorry if they're long. Some get longer than others. But if you don't want to watch a long video, please don't watch a long video. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Or if you don't like the content, move on. It's all right. You're not hurting my feelings one bit. But it's okay. I try to show everyone what I do. Some people don't know how. And some people do. And that's fine. But let's just enjoy crafting together. That's all. I, I enjoy doing this with you all. I didn't want to. I started never to do this again, but my daughter, my oldest daughter that has a YouTube channel that's very popular, actually. She has been on me for years. Mama, do it, do it, do it. And I was like, finally this year, I was like, you know what? I have a little extra time. Let me just jump in. So, yeah, because I've always played with resin. Always. So, I just never did it on camera. <laughs> Oh, goodness, but that is my flaming octopus. At least the head was savable. Minus the few bubbles, but I actually kind of like the little bubbles popping up through there. I, I really do. But I will say, even this got super hot. That's why I start to scratch it, start to start all over. I'm glad it did not melt my mold or warp it, but it didn't. I think because it wasn't too bad, it was just right in the head. So, yeah. But I appreciate every one of y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Um, don't make the same mistakes I did today. Please watch your labels. <laughs> but everyone, I thank you and have a blessed night. Thank you so much. Bye for now.